Okay, this is David at Barnyard Bees. I come out and I pulled off one of my stronger nukes looking for drones and queen cells. And if you can make them out on the video, but there's this hive is just scary packed. It just absolutely packed out. And it is full of drones. So in my last video, or one of my last videos, I was talking about waiting for drones. We got drones, you can make queens. Well, we got drones. So if you can see, see there's drone comb right there, draw it out, capped. And see right there's a, you can see a drone right there. They're just all through this hive. Uh, I've not seen any queen cells yet. I'm trying to do this one-handed kind of hard here, but um, I want to give everybody an idea of what to look for when you, you're going in. And if you want to see if you uh, can make queens yet, uh, I'm going to put this on pause and I'm going to go on through it and see if I can find a, some queen cells and then I'll try to get it on video. Okay, I'm back. I pulled out the next frame, and right there is an uncapped queen cell. Um, looks like it's got a larva in it. I can't really hold the camera and see at the same time. It looks like more than mine. Talk about finding a needle in a haystack. I don't know if you can see her. She just she's trying to go through the other side right there. There's the queen in the corner. It's a big old black beast of a queen. I got she's she's a monster of a queen. I tell you she's a she's a laying fiend. Uh, went through the rest of it and a lot more drone comb capped. A lot of drones, but only seen the one queen cell, so they're just starting, but like Fat Bee Man says, bees do two things. They multiply and store honey, so They are packed and they don't have anywhere else to go. Everything's drawn out, every frame is completely full to the gill. Uh, very calm. Not taking the first thing. And this is a big strong hive. For the naysayers that say uh, I don't have strong hives that there's a reason they don't sting, they say. This this hive is absolutely packed got 10 frames the same way it's in the genetics people choose your bees wisely when you buy them go to a bee yard and they're wearing bee suits there's nothing wrong with bee suits but I'm just saying it depends on what you want this is packed the the lane pattern is very good on this hive and they got their honey uh, nice pattern around the top and the sides and the rest of it flat out brewed this hive is exploded and I'm hoping I'm not dropping this trying to do this one-handed but it, I've been looking down around the bottom edge where they usually see the queen cells I'm not seeing any there could be possibly some down around the corners there that I've been trying to hold the camera. But I had to share this. I want everybody to see what we're looking for when we start making queens. We got drones, so it's we're there. 
we, we find queen cells we can cut out and we'll put in a frame of honey and a queen cell. No brood because it's still cold. Uh, if you go putting brood in and the nights get cold, they'll, aban they'll abandon the brood and they'll go for the the queen cell to protect the queen cell or the queen and you'll lose the brood and they'll have to pull it all out so check here in a few more days get through all these hives and see, what I'm see if we got any capped cells and maybe do a few splits do a few few early splits with just a frame of honey and shake off a couple uh, frames of nurse bees and, let them go. and that's how you do it Got the drones, we're ready to go. Thanks for watching, Barnyard Bees.